On today's episode of Globe, trotting with Trey, what happened across the street? Right here, once upon a time in Elvis Presley's life. It's a really great story. Go get that popcorn ready. We're going to a movie drive-in. Stay tuned. Make sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Globe Trotting with Trey for more Elvis content. All right, guys, so this is East Broadway here in West Memphis, Arkansas. Across the street from where I'm pointing at used to be the Sunset Drive-In. Unfortunately, I can't get on the land. A new thing is being built up, so there's nothing I can do about that, but we are going to fly the glory of the spa guys with me. But right across the street, I have to tell you a little story that I learned from Dixie's new book. This is Dixie's book, Unlocked. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. So after you watch this episode, be sure to go to the link. Press the link in the description of my episode here. And it will take you to Dixie's website where you can learn how to order an autographed copy. They offer autographed copies by Dixie. So be sure to pick your autographed copy up today after watching this film. Hey, and let them know that Glow Trotting with Trey sent you from this episode. I would love to get an interview with Dixie in the near future for you guys to enjoy here on Glow Trotting with Trey. And like I told Dixie, and Dixie, if you're watching, like I told you, your story is very, very, very important for us to learn about the real Elvis Presley. And that's why I do these videos. I want to learn about the real guy, the real Elvis. And he was your boyfriend, of course. You went to the Sunset Drive-In, hung around Memphis. All the stories you have are, are priceless. So thank you, Dixie, for writing this book. And guys, please support her by ordering her book and get an autographed copy. The link is in the description of this video. And let them know, Glow Trotting with Trey sent you. So here's an aerial that I found of Sunset Drive-In in West Memphis, Arkansas, where this story takes place. So from Dixie's book, Unlocked, Juanita, Dixie's sister, told a story that her and Dixie and Jean, Elvis's cousin, Jean Smith, and Elvis went to a drive-in movie there at Sunset Drive-In in West Memphis, Arkansas one evening. On the ride over to the theater, Elvis and his girl, Dixie Locke. There's a great photo of Elvis and Dixie during this time. Well, they got into an argument, and uh, they fussed the entire ride from Memphis to West Memphis, Arkansas, across the bridge. Juanita talks about that she has no clue what they were fighting about. She just knows that they were mad at each other. And when they get to the Sunset Drive-In, Elvis would not stay in the car. Elvis left the car and would not get back in the car with Dixie and Jean and Juanita. So guess what Elvis does? Elvis hitchhikes back to Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, incredible, right? But that story took place right here on this land here in West Memphis. Here's the land today from the drone shot. I want to point out some things here. Right here where I'm pointing at would have been where the movie theater screen would have been through my research. Of course, all the cars is parked right out here, just like you just saw in that previous picture. The drive-in ran to about right here in this area. I was able to line that with a road that's to the right of this screen. But yeah, this is the land, and that story of Elvis and Dixie being mad at each other and Elvis leaving and staying in the car took place right here. That's where the screen was, where I just pointed, and that was the entrance to the movie theater. And the way I know that is because of this aerial. Look at the entrance right there off of the road, and you see the movie theater with the uh, shadow of the sun. Uh, captured in this aerial for you guys. Now look across the street at those buildings. You see this building right here? Just take in mind that shape of that building. Here it is today. The building's gone, but the foundation is still there. And that's how I was able to line up where exactly the movie theater screen would have been right across the street from those buildings was this movie screen 
that Elvis definitely saw. Yeah, Elvis got mad and he headed back toward Memphis, Tennessee. Dixie says that later on that night when they returned to her house, Elvis was sitting on her front porch and I guess they kissed and made up, hopefully. But Elvis, uh, Elvis got a little mad here once upon a time in his life, one night in his life here at the Sunset Drive-In in West Memphis, Arkansas. So yeah, the theater was definitely right here. So when Elvis got in some stranger's car to hitchhike back to Memphis, he would have gone down this road just like the spy guy and I are doing right now in the Gray Ghost. We're going to drive this whole road to just show you the route that Elvis and uh, Dixie and uh, Gene and Juanita would have taken to get here to the movie theater and how Elvis would have hitchhiked back home. This is West Memphis, Arkansas. It's really a straight shot. We were surprised when we made this drive and we kind of like realized, well, now we understand why they would have traveled all the way across the bridge to a movie uh, drive-in here in West Memphis, Arkansas, because it really was not that long of a, uh, a drive for them uh, back then in 1954, 53. So we get to this red light, guys, when we filmed this, and Spy Guy and I decided we were hungry, so we turned the camera off and came back after we ate. As you see, the got a little darker on us. But anyway, I'm sure Elvis made this drive at night that evening when he hitchhiked back. So yeah, just ride along with me and the Spy Guy as, uh, by the way, Spy Guy's driving, so you know, if he's bumpy and everything, that's the Spy Guy's fault. By the way, you need to watch the Spy Guy show if you don't already. I know all of you probably do, but some of you may not know about the Spy Guy best Elvis YouTuber on YouTube. No doubt about it, guys. So please go watch the Spy Guy and like his videos and like my videos today. If you if you enjoyed this video, please, after you watch this, guys, please give me a thumbs up. That helps YouTube share it to other Elvis fans. And I make these for new fans that don't know about me to learn about these stories because I want the real stories of Elvis to, to make it out there for people to learn about the real guy that's my whole mission and passion about doing this now the road would have stayed straight when elvis dr drove down this road to get back to to memphis that road is what elvis would have gone on now it's changed into the highway here that now the spy guy and i are on so guys i'm going to speed this up until we get to the desoto hernando bridge because that's the same bridge elvis would have traveled by So here is the bridge that I just said. This is the DeSoto Hernando Bridge. Elvis, Jean, Elvis, Jean, Dixie, and Juanita definitely came across this bridge when they went to the Sunset Drive in that evening. She actually mentions mentions this bridge in the book when you get unlocked by Dixie. But yeah, just imagine. I wonder how many times Elvis traveled uh, to and from Memphis, from uh, West Memphis, Arkansas, on this bridge. I'm sure quite a few times, guys. But back to liking our videos. If you like our videos, it helps Elvis fans learn about it because YouTube will share our videos. More likes that we get, the more people will find out about our videos. That's why we always ask you guys to like it. If, if you find this content interesting to you and worth your time, I spent a few hours putting this together for you guys, so I just ask for a like. That's all I ask. And, and subscribe if you haven't already. So you just traveled on the Hernando de Soto Bridge that Elvis would have traveled on once upon a time in his life. I assume it was a two-lane highway at that point here in this area where we are now on the interstate. Here we are. You see the Tennessee welcomes you sign. We're coming into Tennessee right now. And you see a sign for Crump Boulevard and Riverside Drive. Riverside has a lot of Elvis history. That we'll get to one of these days, and I believe the spy guy will probably stop here at a train track. I 
think you're supposed to do that, right? So that old building over there to the left, Elvis definitely would have had to seen that building when uh, he hitchhiked back from West Memphis, Arkansas. I believe my memory's right. It's an old Budweiser building that used to be there. I guess Budweiser headquarters of Memphis. Who knows? But I was really surprised how quick the drive was from that location. What do you think, Spa Guy? Yeah, so for him to go where we just sat, that was a straight shot. It was a straight shot. Mm -hmm. You didn't even have to turn off this road. Except for one time. Here's see how, Kay's. See how we're kind of figuring out how to... There's Kay's drive back. Yep. There's Kay's. And then her, her old hot biscuits. Yeah. before they went over there. But I see now why they would have gone to that drive-in. I see, I do too. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. Yeah, let's go to the sunset in West Memphis. Just straight across the bridge. Yeah, the sky is real nice on the camera right now. Mm -hmm. This camera does great low light. I never noticed the cross on that. Yeah, well it's normally daytime. That's all brand new. So we have almost arrived back to Dixie's house. You turn left right here on this road. And uh, Elvis would have hitchhiked right back to the street. And he was dropped off at her house that night. It lines up more with that house. Right here. Yeah. All right, guys. So we have returned to Lucy. Elvis was on the front porch here right in front of us that evening when Dixie and her sister and Jean returned home. Elvis had hitchhiked back to Dixie's house, waited for her, and they kissed and made up, I guess, spy guy. It happened right here, mm -hmm. once upon a time in Elvis's life. Thanks for watching this video to the end. You guys are our true fans. You learn more history than the others that don't. Don't double dribble if you haven't already. Subscribe to Glow Trotting with Trey to stay updated with every new Elvis episode that I upload each Tuesday. Like this video if you did so YouTube will share it to other Elvis fans. And until next time, I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.